Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to look at Flycast and see what we can do to prevent it from crashing when we're starting up a game. I see a lot of people having this issue and maybe most of you already have uh, RetroArch installed in the past and maybe tweaked a few settings here and there that way you have better performance on cores, uh, different emulators that you're running on RetroArch for you know better gameplay, smooth gameplay, whatever. And we're going to take a look at those settings and also see what we can do to improve our uh, performance on Flycast. Obviously, this is version 1 and there's still a lot of bugs. There's still a lot of things to work on. So we just have to be patient and hopefully this will help you uh, play some of the games. And we're going to test out a few games here. I have like four or five of them to test and we're going to do that today in this video. Alrighty, so first thing we're going to do is open up RetroArch and change one of the settings there here we are in retroarch let's go under settings and under video we have to make sure the output is set to gl1 most of you will have vita 2d selected by default just change it to gl1 select that and make sure to quit out of retroarch you can't just press the home button and close it out like that so just make sure to use that quit retro arch option and you'll be good to go let's open up flycast okay back in retro arch our core is loaded we can see that in the lower left hand corner 1.9.0 flycast nice and under drivers let's make sure video is set to gl1 very nice and under video this is very important that threaded video is disabled. If this is enabled, you will always get a crash. I've noticed that with both uh, Vitas that I own, the 1K and 2K, the first generation and second. Fat and slim model, they'll have the same issue. And under synchronization, we have to disable vertical sync. And under synchronization, let's disable the vertical sync that way we'll have a little bit of boost in performance hard gpu sync i have that disabled and sync to content frame it doesn't matter if you have this enabled or disabled i'll just disable it here for this video and we should be good to go now we can load our content so let's load up a game here one of the games that's been running very well for me is marvel vs capcom 2 and we'll test all of these games here. We have the Street Fighter 3 Third Strike, Third Striker uh, Japanese version and the English version along with Sonic Adventure and the original Marvel vs. Capcom. Let's start up Marvel vs. Capcom 2. There we go. Sega produced by or under license from Sega Enterprises. Let's turn up the volume so we can hear the audio. And I'll enable my overclock plugin so we can look at the frames in the corner. Press start. So in the main screen, we have over 50 frames. Looks really nice. Let's press start. Once we get into this, the options here, it does slow down a little bit with the audio. And we drop down to 45 frames. Let me lower that audio there so it's not too annoying. So in the uh, cutscene there, some of our characters were missing or they were in black or their heads were chopped off and then we had a glitch in the audio. No good there. And under arcade mode, there is more problems. Right in the beginning, we have that like stutter. But for the most part, we have over 40 frames. Very good. But the character, you see the pirate lady, I don't know her name but she doesn't change at all. So if I decide to pick Ryu or Ryu, uh, the pirate lady is still there. 
Let's uh, choose my guy, Akuma. Oh, no, he's not. I have to unlock him. Uh, let's see. Let's choose Iceman. Iceman and Spider-Man. And their portraits are not even showing up, which is hilarious. <laughs> and on the other side, we have two portraits out of the three. Stage one. And I notice when I'm playing this game, if it's just me and the opponent, it's great. But if he calls in his buddy or his teammate, that's when the lag starts to happen. And there are like lines through the characters there. There we go. So it's, it's like, it's almost, it almost reminds me of like when Diatlas first came out on the PS3, <laughs> where uh, Super Smash Bros. Brothers were not really uh, running very well. It was, it was good, it was good at first, and then out of nowhere, it just started lagging. But you can see we're we're at 40 frames. I'll change it there. There we go. And I do have it overclocked. Not bad, not bad. So, hopefully on their next update, they'll have uh, more improvements, stuff like that for us. Because the Atlas did have numerous updates and hoping to see that with this emulator. I think the Atlas is at version 0 0.6 right now. So that's multiple, multiple updates. And throughout the year of 2021, we should be seeing that here very soon, I hope. And uh, let's see if I can beat Cyclops. My boy Cyclops here is about to get his ass whipped. All right. <laughs> Come on now. Get over here, boy. Oh, you going to do me like that? Come on now. Oh, I'm, uh, you know what? Fighting games is just not for me. But I've always enjoyed playing them, but I'm just so bad at it. <laughs> I am like the worst, saltiest. I, I, if I lose, I like quit the game right away. I, I can't take it. <laughs> Even when it's on the lowest settings of, of, uh, oh, he left. Come on. Come on, Cyclops. Where are you at? All right. So there it is. That is Marvel versus Capcom. And another cool thing you can do when you're playing Flycast is open up the quick menu in RetroArch, which will help you to mess around with different settings. But I suggest not to unless you want to save your state and stuff like that. So let's hold the select button. And there is my quick menu. And you can change this uh, if you'd like to change your configuration. So if you're unable to open this little quick menu where you can close the content, take a screenshot, save your state, load a different game, whatever. Uh, we can go under settings here and you wanna go under input, go down to hotkeys, there it is. And we wanna change the menu toggle gamepad combo. And the default is a little strange, I think it's this one. You have to press like down, L1, R1, and Y. And that's pretty confusing, so I just, have it under hold select for two seconds and my quick menu will be brought up and obviously we can go back into the game under quick menu and resume so there it is that's pretty gnarly now let's open up another game and test out the next one let's close this content so let's load up marvel versus capcom one the original and I hope that there's a little bit of improvement after whoops my game just crashed or my emulator just crashed I guess it didn't like the fact that I used the quick menu to close the content and just loaded a game right away so we'll see if this will work after we reset it all that Let's go to Marvel vs. Capcom. Sega. I remember getting this game for the very first time at Funko Land. It was like a game store back in the old days. And my brother got me this game, my older brother. He promised to buy us a game and we kept telling him, hey, you promised us that you were going to take us and buy a game. And he finally caved in and got us 
Marvel vs. Capcom, and he suggested this game over Bloody Roar 2, which we really wanted, but he's like, just get this one, this is better, you have more characters, and you, have, you can unlock more. Uh, Bloody Roar is not that great, he said. And I'm kind of glad we took his advice, because this game is amazing. Now, with this one, uh, th there's like a cross... There's something different about this game, though. On the original one on the PS1, you could select one character and just go from there. So, there's the audio. Not that great, and we're sitting at 20 frames. Kind of annoying. Let's go with the beautiful Morrigan. And now it's telling me to select a second character, so I'm not familiar with this mode. I've never played this mode before. I remember playing the, the, the game on PS1 and selecting only one character and then selecting a buddy. The, the one that it just manually selected for us. Let's do easy. Let's do uh, normal. Maybe that will help. I don't know. And disabling the audio will not give any sort of improvements. I did test that, I think, two days ago, and I didn't see no improvements whatsoever in both of these games in Marvel vs. Capcom 1 and 2. Now we're sitting at 20 frames. I would be happy if it just sat at 30, you know? If it was just sitting at 30 solid, then I would be pretty stoked on that. Oh, that gin music, man. I tell you, this is so iconic. This game is so badass. Oh, Gambit came in. I don't know. Oh, I totally forgot Gambit's in this game. He's such a... He is such an underrated X-Men character. When it comes to the, these fighting games. I feel like we don't see him a lot in these Marvel fighting games. He should have been in Marvel vs. Capcom 2. But they brought in the Iceman. Pretty solid. I'm landing a couple combos. Nothing crazy, but... Not bad, right? So now let's move on to test another game. And that will be Sonic. Let's load our content. Go to UXO. Under ROMs. Whoops. Dreamcast. And Sonic Adventure. Whoops. So now we're finding out that we shouldn't use the quick menu to close out content and load up another game because it just keeps crashing. This is like the fourth time it happened to me. But in the past it was working just fine. I'm not sure what's going on right now. Let's go to ROMs and run Sonic Adventure, one of the more popular on the console. And this will be the first time I'm testing this game. Hopefully it runs solid. Oh, it's looking pretty bad, people. 17 frames. Just press start right away. And my screen just froze with the Sonic Team Presents wallpaper. But it's not showing up on OBS here. Whoa, it just loaded up. And this is the Japanese version? Hmm. I am not getting a response here, but I did make it to the Sonic Adventure main splash wallpaper. Still not moving. Oh, there's the audio. Oh, snap. Okay, here we go. Let's press start. That took... A few minutes to load. I'm hoping this runs at 60 frames. So this game takes a minute to load. Alright, finally. Man, that took forever to load. I'm just gonna go with the first option and run with it. <laughs> Right, man, it takes a long time to just load up to the next screen. It takes about a minute and 30 seconds. So I've been sitting here 
for about five seven minutes just to get to the game so it's like a, a minute to two minutes uh, between each splash page or whatever you call it each page and there is Sonic there's Tails Knuckles Amy Big E102 let's go with with my guy Sonic we'll go with the first option and this is at 28 frames over 25 frames and the game just crashed so I waited all that time for it to crash <laughs> that is so sad alright moving on let's try Street Fighter 3 Third Striker Japan Japanese version I hope that it doesn't take too much because it is a 2d fighting game there's not too much going on right with all those different 3d effects uh oh it's looking good let's press start third strike fight for the future and <laughs> that's not good where am I supposed to go I'm just going to hit the first option and see where it takes me. And we got more rubbish. Oh. This is pretty bad, people. Yeah, this is unplayable. Oh man, I was so excited to play this game too. Yeah, this is not going to work. This is pretty bad. So now let's try... Well, maybe if I move more... If I move enough, then my character will show up. <laughs> she is like blocks. Alright, let's stop messing around with that and just... Load up Street Fighter English version. This will be the final game we'll test in this video, and hopefully all goes well. All right. Oh man, I was really hoping it was gonna be different. Yeah, it's not looking good. Oh, there's Akuma. Oh man, this is so sad. I was so excited to play this. Well, maybe the gameplay might be different. Who knows? Let's let's have a little bit of hope, right? And all hope is lost. This looks super bad. So that is it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you have any questions, comment down below. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot here on the channel. And also, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video like this and many other tutorials and guides in the future. Take care and I'll see you on the next one.